Hi all, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today, I'll introduce you to Form Submissions, a pro feature that lets you collect submission data and access it from one dedicated place, making it a lot easier to gather insights, analyze a campaign's data, or simply manage your submissions from within your WordPress dashboard. Let's dive in and see how it works. In order to collect form submissions, you need to make sure that your form includes the Collect Submissions option in Actions After Submit. The next time visitors fill in and submit the form, Elementor will save and back up the information on a separate database table so it won't overload your website or cause performance issues. To access the form submissions, simply go to the Submissions tab under Elementor. Here, you will see all of the form submissions from your site. So, if you have multiple forms on various pages, they will all show up here. You can either filter through them by form to see the submissions for specific forms, or by page to see submissions from pages. Use this filter to select a specific submission date, or range, making it very easy to get actionable insights on the fly. Manage your submissions by marking them as read or unread, and trash them if needed. or save some time by using bulk actions that apply these changes to multiple submissions with just a few clicks. You can also export your submission data by downloading it as a CSV file. Every form can be exported individually, so you can use it for your own needs whether it's for self-logging or even for manual migration of the data. Use the search bar to find specific submissions by searching for an email, for example. When clicking on a specific submission, you'll be able to see all the details. Click Edit to make changes or add information to the submission. In the Actions log, you can track the status of your actions after submit, which also includes third-party integrations that were added to your form, such as MailerLite or MailChimp. So, if the form failed to send because the email field wasn't mapped properly, for example, you'll see that in the Actions log as well. Making it easier to debug unexpected issues. Well, that's it. Now you know how to set up submissions in your Elemental forms and track them from one dedicated place, making it a lot easier to gather insights or analyze a campaign's data. Have fun tracking and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.